Now it's time to transfer data to an Ethernet IP PLC. In this example, it's a Rockwell Alan Bradley Control Logix PLC. If you look at the Ethernet IP status, you see that no data is exchanged currently. Six bytes have been set up to be transferred to the PLC and zero bytes from the PLC. The first step is to import the EDS file. You can get the EDS file from the product support web page on anybus.com or from the product's configuration web page. Then click on the tools menu and select the EDS hardware installation tool. Follow the wizard and browse the EDS file. Select it and click open. Then continue the wizard and finish it. Now we can add the module under the PLC scanner. Right click on the Ethernet connection. Select New Module. Sort by vendor type in the Select Module Type window and select HMS Industrial Networks. Then select the Anybus Communicator and click Create. Give it a name and an IP address in the new module window. To set the input and output size, we need to click on the change button. Change the input size to 6 bytes. The input type is short integer or SINT and the output size shall be 0 bytes. Press OK to continue and approve the change of the module definition. Then press OK and close. Now we have added our Anybus communicator to the Rockwell PLC. And now we will download the PLC program into the PLC. So click on download. And click yes to change the PLC to remote run. The configuration is now complete. Check the LED status in the top left corner. They should now be green. Do we have any data? Let's check that. Click on the controller tags and expand the Anybus communicator. And then you expand the data section. Here is our live data that's being updated continuously. Go back to the Anybus Communicator configuration web page. Now you can see that the Ethernet IP status is green and that data exchange is active.